Australian astronomer Simon Driver estimates that there are 70 trillion stars in the visible universe alone. An estimated 400 billion of these radiantly bright entities in turn adorn our local Milky Way. However, the countless self-luminous celestial bodies sometimes differ from one another very markedly. Experts regularly discover new stars that fascinate and amaze in equal measure. We'll now reveal to you six stars that clearly outshine their counterparts. Enthusiastic about the breathtaking spectacles and phenomena of the universe? Then subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. If we keep you engaged with the content of our posts, we'd be very happy if you'd give them a thumbs up. Tabby Star One of the most extraordinary stars in the known universe lies dormant in the constellation of Swan. This celestial object, located about 1,470 light-years from our blue home planet, was identified a few years ago by Tabitha Boyajin. The celestial body is therefore also called Tabby Star, in reference to its discoverer. The far less memorable technical name is KIC 846285. Within the investigations, it quickly became clear that Tabby Star is characterized by some amazing peculiarities. Among the somewhat less spectacular findings, however, was the fact that the object has 1.58 times the diameter of the Sun, while 1.43 times the mass of our native host star. Based on the nature of the surrounding celestial bodies, as well as the intrinsic rotation velocity, the approximate age of the main sequence star is estimated to be 150 million years. However, what fascinates the experts so much about Tabby's star are the numerous dips in brightness that the celestial object undergoes time and again. In March 2011, for example, researchers observed the star's brightness drop by a full 16%, but just one day later, Tabby's star shone again in its original splendor. About two years later, a similar phenomenon occurred. This time, the decrease in brightness was as much as 22%, and lasted for a period of two days. In subsequent years, researchers have observed again and again such brightness dips. These persisted for up to 10 days and settled down on values between 3 and 8 percent. The most pressing question that scientists had was, what was causing these mysterious phenomena? The question remains unanswered. Experts use different theoretical explanations from the most diverse approaches. Why does Tabby's star dim? One possible reason for the repeatedly recorded decreases in brightness could be the existence of dust rings. Information provided by the Spitzer Space Telescope and the Swift Gamma Ray Telescope suggests that Tabby's star is covered by irregular microscopic particles. This circumstance could explain the longer lasting dimmings. In addition, there is a theory that, contrary to scientific assumptions, the star has a much younger age. Therefore, the accretion disk formed during the birth of the celestial body could still be around Tabby's star. Studies carried out so far have not proven the existence of such a central dust disk. Much more spectacular is the idea that the decrease in brightness was caused by the annihilation of a planet. This hypothesis is based on the fact that a planet came closer and closer to Tabby's star before it was finally absorbed by the glistening bright object. Since this hypothetical event took place some time ago, the current luminosity reductions would be caused by debris remaining from the swallowed planet. On the other hand, a ring planet surrounded by many rock fragments could be the basis for the mysterious phenomena. The corresponding rocks run ahead or behind their planet. If these galactic fragments now push themselves regularly in front of the star, it would appear from our terrestrial point of view as if the luminosity of the celestial body were subject to some fluctuations. However, the latest findings show that the obscuration phases occur in very irregular intervals, which again speaks against this hypothesis. It might also be conceivable that the observed brightness fluctuations are not triggered by external objects, but rather by the characteristics of the star itself. The phenomenon would thus be linked to an intrinsic mechanism, which in stellar science is called self-organized criticality. In simple terms, this means that the star approaches its critical point on its own, not depending on certain initial parameters. 
To truly get to the bottom of the question about the background of the brightness changes, further investigations are needed. We're already looking forward to the knowledge that scientists will gain on this subject in the future. Tabby Star is not the only star in the known universe that amazes us with its unusual characteristics. For example, an object in the constellation of Centaur has been fascinating experts for some time. The Diamond Star the star in question was initially thought to be a white dwarf. However, more detailed research provided the information that the mass of the object is incredibly concentrated. In fact, the star has the same mass as our sun, while its diameter, however, is three times smaller than that of Earth. The unusually cool core temperature of the star also made experts wonder. This amounts to just under 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As a reminder, Temperatures of 59 million degrees Fahrenheit prevail in the interior of our host star. In addition, experts found that the carbon core of the star is crystallized. In other words, this means that the core of the celestial body consists of a gigantic diamond, which has no less than 10 trillion carats. In reference to the famous Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, the diamond star was given the epithet Lucy. Lucy is by far not the only star to possess such a precious heart. In fact, several other celestial bodies with crystallized cores have already been discovered, some of which are even as large as our home planet. Merging Stars When experts first located M.Y. Camelopartalis in the constellation Giraffe, they initially thought it would be a fairly conventional star. However, a more detailed investigation finally revealed an incredible piece of information. In truth, M.Y. Camelopartalis is a binary star system whose two components orbit each other at a speed of more than 621,000 miles per hour. In the process, the two stars even come so close that their atmospheres have already begun to interact with each other. Based on this amazing scenario, experts believe that the stars are on the verge of merging. Currently, the respective celestial bodies already have 32 and 38 times the mass of the Sun. Once they have ultimately completed their merger, a star will be formed that has 60 times the mass of our native host star. M.Y. Camelopartalis is of extraordinary interest to the scientific community, mainly because scientists have long suspected that certain supergiant stars are formed in this way of merging. However, such a process has not yet been directly observed. Future observation of M.Y. Camelopartalis should change this once and for all. WR-104 The star WR-104 has now reached an extremely critical point in its life. Since the core of the celestial body no longer has helium for combustion, the star is forced to resort to much heavier elements, such as oxygen, for this purpose. These processes lead, however, to the fact that the meticulous equilibrium in the interior of the celestial body has been completely thrown off track. Once the star's oxygen supply is completely depleted, it will eventually go supernova. However, this galactic stellar death will be drastically different from most events of its kind, because in truth, WR-104 is not alone, but a part of a superior double star system. Thus the two celestial bodies are effectively feeding off each other, whipping their stellar winds even higher. A particularly unfavorable scenario could also have direct consequences for our terrestrial home. Theoretically, it's possible that the supernova will be accompanied by a gigantic gamma-ray burst, which could hit the Earth. Fortunately, such an event is extremely unlikely for the relevant class of stars. To be on the safe side, however, Experts continue to keep an eye on the star system 7,800 light years away. The Squeezed Celestial Bodies You've probably already seen the star called Vega with your own eyes. The main star of the constellation Lyra is the brightest object in the northern sky. In the list of all the brightest stars in the firmament, Vega is in fifth place. Seen from our earthly point of view, the star seems to have no extraordinary characteristics except for its brightness. However, if we looked at Vega from another angle, we would see that the shape of the star seems almost squashed. In fact, 
the bulging waist of the object is caused by its exceptionally high rotation speed. Vega rotates completely around its own axis in just 12.5 hours. This rapid speed in turn causes the material located at the star's equator to be practically forced outward. Since the corresponding stellar material is thus also moved further away from the center of the celestial body, less gravity acts on it. This circumstance causes it to cool down and darken a bit. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the extraordinary stars we introduced in this video? We're already looking forward to reading your thoughts on our post in the comments. Finally, we've linked more exciting videos from our channel for you, which you can access by clicking on the thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.